Alright guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be teaching you how to do a kaboom. So, some of you might not know what that is, and I'm going to show you right now. So, that's a kaboom. So it looks pretty easy, and it is, as soon as you know how to do it. So in this video I'm going to be going through the steps on how to do a kaboom, so enjoy. So step one, like I always say, get comfortable on trampoline, two hours at most, go. You guys are probably comfortable on trampoline, I don't know why I said I have to say it every video just in case for some reason you're not, so get comfortable and then we'll get back. So the real step number one is being able to land on your back. Now, sometimes landing on your back can be scary, you know, you don't know what's going to happen, and you're just kind of blindly landing, or falling, I guess. So it could be scary at first, but just practice that 15 times, i say. Um, if you really need, go inside, get some pads, pillows, whatever you want, um, just so you're comfortable doing the trick. Now, the next step is optional. If you want to be able to do this trick really easily, I would suggest learning your backflip. And if you don't know how to do a backflip, you don't need to, but if you do, that's going to be helpful to do this because it's kind of like a back roll, but you're going backwards. So doing a backflip first would help you, but it's definitely not essential. Now for the real step two. Alright, so similar to a backflip, we want to go as far back as we can. So land on your back and then just go as far back as you can. Just turn to the side a little bit and then try to get your legs as far up and over your head as you can. So what's probably going to happen is you're going to land sideways instead of back. You're going to, going to, okay, what? No. You are going to kind of go sideways a little bit and your feet are going to land um, almost like you start here, they're going to land like that a little bit instead of back where you want them to. So just keep practicing, try to go over, but then we can do the next step that will help us get to the kaboom. So the order of these steps might not be perfect, but I think the way that I'm going to tell you how to do it is kind of the best way that I've thought to learn, I guess. So the next thing I recommend doing is doing a back roll, so starting off sitting down and just throw your arms back and just roll them. Now do that about 10-15 times, I normally say 10-15 to because after that you pretty much got it down. So anything, if you want to keep it, I suggest doing it 10 to 15 times just to make absolute sure that you are going to be able to do it forever. So once you feel comfortable doing the back roll, I suggest doing a little bounce back roll, I guess, just so you're a little bit off the ground. And it helps if you're too scared to go back to kind of turn your head a little bit so that you're not going fully back. So I'll put the video in slow motion right now so you can kind of see what my head is doing. So similar to the backflip tutorial, if you haven't seen that, uh, go check it out if you don't know how to do a backflip. It's pretty helpful, I think. But similar to that, you wanna just keep bouncing higher and higher and then keep going back. Just, you know, start off small and then get higher so that you can feel comfortable with going backwards while sitting down. you want to do is start going on your back. So again, similar to the back flip, it's a very similar trick. What you want to do is, you know, crouch down a little bit and then bounce and land on your back and then go over. And just keep standing up and up and up. Now you kind of got to relax, you can't just like tighten up and try to go super fast. For this trick when you're practicing, just 
loosen up and just kind of fall back. Like it, it's gonna happen naturally, so just go with it. Now, when you're ready to kind of do the whole trick and land it, uh, because right now you probably are landing on your hands and knees, which is perfectly fine. It's like the first couple steps, you know, you've got it down. Now we just need to work on landing it. So landing is pretty similar to just uh, normally doing it. You just gotta, you know, obviously get it a little higher and flip a tiny bit faster. So like most tricks, it helps if you tuck. So what I suggest is when you go down, slam your ankles on the trampoline and that will fling yourself back. And remember, tucking is going to be helpful like for most tricks. So that's pretty much all the steps I can give you. Now this trick is pretty simple, so just keep practicing. Like I always say, if you don't get it the first time, I'm not expecting anyone to get it the first time. Just keep trying and you will get it, I promise. So that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, hopefully it did help you. Uh, if it did, I'm going to be putting a poll up right here. Um, just vote, you know, it did help me or I still need some more help. If you have any questions, just ask me. I'll reply to everyone I can. Because a lot of the times when I'm watching tutorials, I sometimes need some more help. So just uh, don't be afraid to ask me. There's no stupid questions. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Goodbye. Or video, you know, you don't just have to watch my tutorials, you know, I got other content.